Hey, what's up, everybody? So this video is about people with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis experiencing excessive fevers and night sweats. And I'm, if you're searching this, you probably are experiencing similar symptoms and you're curious. I know before I was diagnosed, I experienced excessive fever. So I'd wake up with a fever, very hot temperature, pretty consistently, or I'd wake up completely soaked experiencing night sweats. I'd wake up soaked, I'd be drenched in sweat. And not only would I be drenched in sweat, my entire bed would be covered in sweat. So my sheets were wet, I'd pull off the sheets. There was so much sweat that it left a huge stain on my actual mattress. And the only thing that I, I could actually do to combat it so I wasn't sleeping in a soaked water bed was to lay down towels and sleep on top of the towels. Sometimes I'd have to switch the towels or switch the sheets multiple times in one day or during one night. So you're probably wondering why does Crohn's and colitis cause night sweats in the first place? Really, the more that you look, there's no really no concrete evidence to why your your body experiences these intense fevers. But I can provide what I'd call a more simple reason to why I think they probably occur. The most common explanation for fevers in general is really that the body heats itself up to fight and kill infections, germs, viruses, and opportunistic bacteria. It almost works the same way that a self-cleaning oven heats itself up to clean itself, you know? And when it comes to IBDs, there really is like a pathogenic component to IBDs and other autoimmune diseases. So it's like the body's constantly trying to get rid of these organisms to, to balance itself out and to return itself back to balance. And if, if you're familiar with something called dysbiosis, and dis, what dysbiosis is in a nutshell, it's where your friendly bacteria is overtaken by bad bacteria, what we call opportunistic bacteria. In a, in a normal person's gut or a healthy person's gut, the ratio would be 80% good bacteria versus 20% not so good bacteria. But what happens in dysbiosis is it's inverted or flipped upside down. So you've got 20% good bacteria and 80% bad bacteria. So it's completely flipped. The bad guys take control and they're running the show. So really this means your body and your immune system are fighting a constant battle to try to restore this balance of your gut. So if you're experiencing these night sweats and you're wondering how can I stop the night sweats that are caused by Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, there is no easy easy fix to this because really what it comes down to it if you're tired of suffering from these night sweats is you need to fix the root cause of your problem and what i mean that is you it comes down to changing your lifestyle implementing various strategies diet changes you name it because once you implement changes to heal your gut you'll notice that there's no that these night sweats stop occurring there's no reason you're restoring that balance that I was talking about with the dysbiosis. Things get back to normal and you no longer experience a lot of symptoms, a lot of symptoms that you usually experience, but the night sweats definitely will disappear. And as you get better, you'll notice that your frequency of these night sweats will be, it will go from happening maybe a lot in the beginning to happening once here and there to never occurring at all. You know, so I definitely, if you're watching this video and you're experiencing the night sweats, realize that you really do have to make some changes, diet changes, you know, trying supplements, doing some of the things that I mentioned in my free guide. But if you're, if you're, if you're watching this video and you've experienced similar things, please make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what your experience was, or if you were able to overcome the disease and you were able to stop these night sweats and these intense fevers, talk about what you did, talk about how, like, the experience in general, how it worked out for you. Love to hear your guys' story. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, I'm greatly appreciated. Thanks a million guys, take it easy. Are you tired of feeling crappy? Get my free healing guide. Tips, tweaks, and hacks, click the description for more information.